uh, frames, and um, uh, that was uh, very important. But the wood also had to be done. And you see a lot of woodwork going on here. But matter of fact, there's much more woodwork than what you'd ever imagine. And then all that was getting ready for the dome to be placed up. The copper dome. The copper dome that uh, would uh, uh, be a part of the uh, very uh, structure that God showed me in the vision. It would be a copper dome. And so this is the crane bringing the dome up on that day. And it will be set then on top of the lighthouse section of where the light now is at uh, today. And as that dome is being placed on there, of course, there had to be uh, men working underneath to fasten it on properly so it would be sealed properly. And then one of the most important parts about that dome is that the Lord showed me that there would be a cross at the top of that dome. So the copper dome would also have a copper cross. Now that was quite a job to get it up as well. Two men going up in this uh, bucket uh, in order to place the um, cross in the proper position. And so as they take that cross up, remember that the top of the dome is 65 feet and the cross is another seven and a half feet and then there is a a, a ball that the, that the uh, copper ball that the dome sets on uh, which um, elevates the entire lighthouse to 74 feet from the top of the cross to the very floor level of the lighthouse and here you see the cross being uh, put in place and of course um, any project for the lord jesus the christ wouldn't be complete without the symbol of the cross and i'm just so happy that he was able to put the cross at the top of the lighthouse. Doesn't look like it's that high, seven over seven feet. Now the windows are being prepared, or I should say the, the um, area that the windows are going to be placed into, the very frames of the windows. So this is what these gentlemen are doing now. And then we work down inside the lighthouse, uh, getting the uh, forms ready for the insulation and uh, for uh, the actual drywall to be put on. These all had to be uh, bolted in to the concrete. So these are two befores that would, would be the uh, the actual holding of the, the drywall. Here's the windows being placed in by professionals. These windows had to uh, stand, of course, uh, the uh, stress of wind and, uh, and, and so on. Here you see it from the very uh, observation tower. The woodwork's not finished yet. The insulation's not done. But that's how the windows were, were, were placed in. And there's 16 windows in this level. On the second level, then where the light's at, there's 12 more. Here you see more of the uh, actual wood going up, some of the insulation, some of the duct work that takes the heating and cooling. There's three uh, heating and cooling units, uh, one for each level. And this is some of the duct work that uh, is being covered up now by insulation. The pink there is the insulation that's being put on. And then once the insulation was put on, uh, we then went and worked into the connector. And here you see them building the connector. There's the door that goes into the lighthouse from the present building. Now they're putting the actual uh, drywall on and uh, uh, working to fit in. That's two layers of drywall, quarter inch thick, two layers. And of course, remember, uh, it's also uh, sloping in as it goes up. So it's, it's on an angle as well as being rounded. And that was quite a job. So these gentlemen are putting that on. Then once the drywall was on, then the stucco, the, the plaster was uh, sprayed on uh, to give it that stucco look. And um, this is a, a job that's being done now uh, in the uh, lower level. And then, of course, the flooring. And we use this, this uh, marble. It's a back cut of a marble. And it's being laid here. It uh, came from Turkey, as I said earlier. The outside exterior uh, had insulation. And then there was this styrofoam that's being used by many buildings today, very durable. And then, of course, following that, it was then stuccoed on the outside. And it takes the form on as being big rocks uh, because it is, is formed out of, the, out of the very styrofoam in that manner. There you can see it uh, there. You see it looks like big squares of cut rock. And that is how we did that. And, of course, the scaffolding had to go up and down twice because of uh, getting it ready for the exterior. And the exterior, of course, is white, as I saw it in the vision. And now let us go from the outside of the lighthouse, where we see the beauty that God has given us, from there to the inside, the reception area. Yes, this is the receptionist's desk right here, where someone sits each day, Monday through Friday, to greet people. And, of course, the inside of this first level has the cabinets where we have displays of artifacts and things that uh, will teach people about the lighthouse as they come and view in the showcases. And then we go upstairs as we take the steps up 
to the area. We realize that Jesus is the light of the world. So